Hello everyone, I'm Asma Khali from Cloud Pages and in today's video we'll be learning how you guys can deploy a server using AWS Amazon on Cloud Pages. So without further ado, let's just jump straight to the video. Okay, so first of all you have to log in to your AWS console. So this is going to be your dashboard from here. You can search for EC2. Select EC2. From the left hand side menu simply select instances and click on launch instance so once your visit has started the first step is you have to search for ubuntu 20.04 so since that's what we need to deploy a server on cloud pages so select that okay so over here you have to choose your instance type mind you you are just selecting your memory your RAM memory, your CPU memory, we're gonna go with T2 small over here or T2 medium, whichever you want according to uh, your needs. Click on next. From here, you can configure your instance details. I'm not going to mess with these and simply going to click on next at add storage. So I need 30 GB. You can select any uh, uh, storage size that you want go on to the next over here you can add tags if you want i don't it's completely optional click on next okay so uh, you have to configure your security group we need five rules ssh uh, http https custom udp and custom gcp so we're going to add all of those rules or we already have ssh over here i'm going to add http next i need https Okay, next I need custom TCP rule. With TCP, I need 20.83 port and my IP will be same as above. Next rule that I need will be custom UDP rule. With that, I need 443 port and same as above. It's quite simple. So once you do that, click on review and launch now over here you can review your instance before launching click on launch okay so you can either choose an existing key or you can add a new key i'm going to choose an existing key which is key one i'm going to select i acknowledge and click on launch instance so once you click on that your instance has been launched so next we need is an elastic ip since with other providers, we already have a static IP and we don't, we don't need an elastic IP. But, but with AWS, Amazon, we need an elastic IP since if we turn off and turn it back on, our IP will change. So to get over that problem, we need an, IR, we need an elastic IP. So simply click on your instance. From here, scroll down and go into network and security and click on elastic ips now click on allocate elastic ip scroll down and click on allocate so this is going to be our new ip click on allocate elastic ip or oh, sorry simply click on your ip over here and click on associate elastic IP address. So from here, you can select your instance and click on associate. And that's all you have to do to associate your IP with an instance. You can see already that it has been linked. So click on instances from the left hand side menu, select your instance and you'll see that a new elastic IP has been allocated to this. So once you do that, we need to connect it. Now, this is going, of course, going to take a couple of minutes. So you can refresh it from over here. So this is our elastic IP. This was our public IP and this is going to be our elastic IP. Or simply refresh your page and you'll see that our button is ready to be used. So our instant state is running and we can connect it. Click on connect, you're good to go, click on connect. 
So once you click on connect, uh, cons uh, command console will open up. Okay, so once your command console is open up, we can associate it with, start associating with club pages now. So simply write sudo space su space dash and click enter. Okay guys, so now what we're going to do is go into your cloud pages dashboard. From here, select your project. And in your project, click on deploy it manually. Enter your server name over here. Our server name is going to be server1. Now our server IP is going to be this public IP address, the elastic IP that we just created. Paste it over here and click on deploy server. Now scroll down and you'll see that we have a little script over here. Copy the script and paste it over here. Once you do that, click enter. Be careful that uh, there are no spaces before you enter. Once you do that, you'll see that your server is now deploying successfully. Everything is going good. Now this process is going to take a couple of minutes and you'll see that you're almost there. And you can see that your process is running over here. Now this process is going to take a couple of minutes, so just wait for it. And of course you can close this window while your server is being deployed. You can easily go back and do whatever you're doing uh, within your cloud pages platform. So once it is done, you will be able to see your pro uh, your server it has been deployed in your dashboard. So our server has been deployed over here. You can see the location, the IP, and it is ready for you to use. So if you still have any questions, just drop a comment in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe. Cloud